So you were just listening to Breaking Hearts by uh, Mind Me. Um, And I got that from Epidemic Sound. So if you want to check that out, it's a pretty good site for getting music that are doesn't have any copyright issues. (laughs) Um, You know, when I get to my K-pop section that I try to put music in there, but it's probably copyrighted. So I'm not. Anyways, Epidemic Sound. um, This is not an ad. I'm not sponsored at all. But it's a pretty good site to get music that you need for your whatever, you know. Um, Okay, so I'm going to start off with Korean dramas. So I'm actually going to talk about a Korean drama that recently aired but already finished. It's called The Secret Life of My Secretary. It's starting, um, starting, (laughs) it's starring um, Kim Young Kwon and Jin Ki Ju. So again, yet again, I didn't write my own um, description of this Korean drama. I'm just going to read it from Vicky because they have pretty good descriptions of their Korean dramas. Um, that's also where you can watch this and i'm pretty sure you can watch it at other um, sites but um, vicky's pretty good with the subtitles um so the description of this korean drama the secret life of my secretary is that uh do min ik is a competent and clear-headed man who works as an executive of a leading telecommunications company this smart guy not only recognizes people who he has met just once but also has an insight to read others thoughts until he is diagnosed with face blindness Gal He, a loyal secretary of Min Ik, is a dowdy and a little disheveled woman who has worked for Min Ik with all her might. On the day she gets fired out of the blue, she happens to witness Min Ik almost getting murdered by someone and becomes his right-hand man, or I guess his right-hand woman. <laughs> um, Min Ik, who suffers from face blindness, mistakes Gal He for Veronica Park, a charming and influential figure in the filming industry and falls in love with her. Galhi starts to pretend to be Veronica, and as time passes, even she herself gets confused who she really is. But Veronica finds out about Galhi's double life and puts an end to it. Would intertwined relationships and feelings be untangled in the end? So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the key points that I loved about this Korean drama. Uh, first of all, it uh, has alternate titles. So the actual title that I know it by is The Secret Life of My Secretary. But um, the other title is How to Train My Blind Boss, which is a little bit funny to me. I, I was kind of laughing out loud when I found that out that that's one of the titles. Uh, it's also called Chomyone Saranghamnida, which literally means I loved you from the beginning. Sorry about my Korean. I've... <laughs> I've been watching Korean dramas and listening to K-pop for decades and decades, um, and I've learned a lot of Korean from those things. But my pronunciation is still pretty bad. So yeah, so Chomyone <laughs> Saranghamnida. It's written by um, this Korean drama is written by Kim Ah Jong, and it aired, I believe, from May till June 2019. Um, one thing I loved about this Korean drama is that the leads. Um, really, the main the main leads really work well with each other. Um, it's my first time watching Kim Young Kwang um, in a lead role. He um, was in Room Number Nine, The Guardians. He plays Dominic, who um, he it's both a serious and very comedic role, and he he does both of them very convincingly. Like um, he comes off as a very needy problematic boss also a bit childish or childlike um and it's all packaged in his character um as a chebol um he's very believable as a chebol which um if you don't know korean drama terms it's like that rich guy ceo character that's always a staple in korean dramas um so he's very believable because he he has like well actually this actor i found out is that he used to be a model or he still is a model anyway he's very statuesque he is very tall there's the significant height difference between him and the female lead so it makes the whole like dichotomy of their romance a lot lot cuter um and he he looks really good in a suit which adds to the whole believability of him being a chebo um he also has to very very cute and very adorable brotherly f- friendship with um Ki Deju, who is played by Koja Song. Um, it's an actor I'm not familiar with. I think he plays a lot of um, supporting male roles, I think. 
but I it's the first time I've watched them in a Korean drama. But it's they're bros. They're very realistic bros, and it's it's really fun to see them on certain episodes of the shows because the way they act, you really believe that they've been friends since childhood, and they've been friends for such such a long time because of that and that they have their own kind of secret way like understanding of each other um i also like the fact that um dominique is like he's that character that appears to be he's kind of arrogant but arrogant in a way that because he's confident in his skills and that gets easily stripped away by the fact when he gets face blindness which is one of the main plots of the korean drama um I also want to talk about Jin Ki Ju, who plays the female lead. She plays Jung Gal Hee. She was in The Good Wife, uh, the Korean adaptation of the American series The Good Wife. I think that was in 2016 or 2015. She was also in Come and Hug Me. Um, she has a very good contrast. Ju, like I said, not just because of her acting, um, because of her height difference with. Kim Young Kwong, who's like really tall, if I haven't like said that enough. Um, and Jin Ki Ju is like PT. She is like not like short, short. She's an average height like Korean actress. But compared them when they're standing next to each other, she's she's pretty like petite. Um, her stature is very like kind of like small and cute and petite. Um, but she has she's very very expressive for a Korean drama actress. Like you can tell when she's doing the com she has a good comedic timing and she's doing the comedy like chops of the of the script i want to say is that you can see her facial expressions her eyes become bigger her face is like she's not afraid to look silly on camera which not a lot of korean drama actresses can do because they they really want to try to portray themselves as beautiful and pretty and gorgeous and um while jinky ju is actually I think they purposely made her into like a plain Jane because she's not dowdy at all when you see her on like their promotional shots, like their interview shots. Um, she's really pretty. Um, so they they kind of had to really make an effort to make her look dowdy. Um, but I really love her acting. She's really believable as the breadwinner of her family. In the story, her brother is blind and then her youngest sister wants to be an actress. Um, there's a whole subplot about that in the Korean drama, um, which was okay. Um, it's a cute look into um, why Gal Hee was so responsible as a secretary to Dominique because that's how her her life has been programmed so far like she's been functioning as like a caregiver breadwinner character um like from the beginning so she's always been like that responsible character um so that's how mainly how their dichotomy their their relationship is her and uh dominique um as throughout the series she comes off um like a very cheerful character also a little bit childlike but more responsible so there's that whole like they pair up really well um dominic and galhi but also like slightly different in how they approach life which is really cute when you see it in the korean drama um the the overall plot of this korean drama is not very new i mean it's it's essentially that standard korean drama plot of a uh, chebol like a rich guy often the ceo or whatever um in this case he's not the ceo yet of the company he's one of like the managing directors or something but still the rich guy falls in love with like not necessarily like a poor the poor girl in this series it's not necessarily that she's poor she's just hard working she's just a normal girl living her life working like supposedly nine to five job as a secretary but she's often like doing stuff for uh minik so much that it's like beyond her the hours of her work um which creates a lot of dramatic and comedic tension throughout this rom-com um but they kind of add a little bit of other stuff to the standard plot of korean dramas so one of um the things that is the overall arc of this korean drama is the face blindness or prosopagnosia as um we medical people 
call it um <laughs> if i didn't mention it before my usual day job is a nurse so um i'm going to talk a little bit about the medical side of it um so prosopagnosia is a cognitive disorder of face perception um when it's impaired and while other brain functions such as decision making remains intact it uh, i believe affects about like 2.5 of the general u.s population so um it is very interesting plotline 